So before this video starts, I just want to come on here and say I do not condone any of the actions that take place during this video, nor do I advise anyone to rush an injury or do anything stupid while injured. Uh, kids, listen to your doctor. Make sure uh, you get on the bike or do activity or whatever you're doing when you're 100% healthy and good to go, cleared from the doctor. Uh, my situation is a little special, so do not take this video as uh, you can do the same. I just wanted to show the um, process and pretty much to show the reality of being a professional dirt bike rider. So um, yeah, two weeks post-op riding. Um, yeah, let's get it. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, this one's a little bit different. Um, we're heading to Greenville, South Carolina this morning uh, to go get surgery on my hand. First time under not, uh, first time under the knife. It's, uh, I'm not really nervous about it, but um, yeah, I really never had anything like this um, done before. So yeah, what day is it? Thursday. Thursday, March, what, 26th? Uh, so today's Thursday, March 25th, 2021. And uh, yeah, we're gonna try to do a mini dock. We're trying to... Did you tell them that it's 4.30? Oh, is it 4.30? Yeah, it's 4.30 in the morning. sets available okay. screw versus plate and again it just depends on how much bone we have the further it is this way you know if it's in in the middle you got great bone on both sides the further it is this way the less bone you'll get with that screw okay so we'll just kind of have to we'll make a little incision and see if we have to put the plate on we just extend it okay we're first right yeah, unless he shows up <laughs> it's not looking good We're ready. A few moments later. Oh. <laughs> all right. We're back. I'm back. Well, I'm out of surgery. I'm pretty loopy, but I'm all there. Yeah. But I can... I can probably drive. You won't run the girl, I can probably drive. Absolutely not. <laughs> not for 24 hours. Not for 24 hours? No, you're going to have to let her take care of you. I have big plans tomorrow. Stu said that's the worst pain he's ever been in because his hands nerves. I feel really good. Stu's a <laughs> I don't feel anything. I feel like brand new. You should probably wait a couple days. No, I'm good to go. I can probably race this weekend. No. Give me... I can't move my finger now. I don't need a clutch. <laughs> can we go to Chick-fil-A? No. I'm all there. I just want Chick-fil-A. Okay, fine. I was going to say Panda. No, I can't eat Panda right now. How you going to eat a sandwich? With one hand. Oh, jeez. Okay. <sighs> I'm trying to move my finger. I have a nerve block. I can't use my hand at all. No wheelchair needed. I'm good now. Get this stupid thing off me. How long was the surgery? An hour and 15 minutes. Hour 15. 
Dr. Tanner fixed me right up. Got this. My whole freaking hand and arm is just completely numb. I can't feel a thing. Sir, I've been up and down every day. I've been sick to my stomach. Um, I've cried. A so one day post-op, uh, the nerve block is completely gone. I'm able to move my fingers a little bit. Uh, I don't have that much pain, but um, I can feel it setting in. So we got to stay on top of the medicine and just uh, keep the eye on the prize and uh, try to get on the bike as soon as we can. So right now we're at three days post-op. Um, I finally get to take off the ACE bandage and we're going to be putting this on. So I haven't seen my scar or my hand uh, since the morning of the surgery. So basically, yeah, I'm excited to take this thing off finally. For you. Oh. <laughs> Only the video had smell. Oh. Let the camera see it first. Oh, it's not that bad. Oh yeah. My palm's a little swollen. Got sausage fingers like my dad. Look at the socks. Fuzzy socks. Sausage fingers. Wow, it's bigger than I thought it would be. Definitely probably sure. have clammy hands. Yep, definitely clammy. Clammy. So right now, that's as much as I can grip. But that's pretty cool. There she is. There she is. It feels so good that it's off. I bet. I can move my wrist. Yeah, this is the one that I got when I broke it before surgery, but they molded it to my hand and my arm already. So that's a day three update. One day closer to being back on the bike. So we have quite a bit of work to do, but I think this is a massive step in the right direction. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this, to be honest. I can't believe how much I've lost with this injury. It's gonna take a lot to rebuild from this. Just wrapped up day two of back doing activity. Uh, I ran without my cast on today. My hand's feeling a lot better and it's a little chillier outside. So figure let the uh, let the skin and bones get some coolness, coolness weather. Is that a word? Anyways, um, not my best performance by any means today. Uh, ran a 740 pace, way better than yesterday. Yesterday I thought I was literally gonna die. Um, it just shows you how much you lose um, just 10 days or so off your training schedule. So uh, yeah, so today's day two, like I said, and felt so much better. Um, excited to see the progress already and uh, my hands feeling better, but not, not good enough to ride just yet. Um, go back to the doctor on Monday. So yeah, we're gonna keep doing the training thing and Hopefully get on the bike soon. That's the ultimate goal. This is the phone I broke right there. This goes snap. Break it like a twig. Give it a few days. Mm -hmm and just start massaging this whole area. Because the incision likes to stick to things. Okay. It's not gonna stick to your tendon. Yeah, um, I can. It looks really good. Yeah, I can squeeze it and stuff. Yeah, I was thinking about trying to mountain bike this week, because. Uh, I think that's fine. <clears throat> I, uh, I'll probably ride Thursday just to see what I have to do. Don't you have, do you have a week off? Or when, when would you ride again? Or when, when are you thinking? I think so, sure. I mean, it looks great. It could look better. I just sent those to you. Um, you can see though that fracture went here and spiraled all the way up. See it going through there? Yeah, that's a long one. 
but now I used a bigger screw of the two and I got some good, you know, it filled up that canal real well. It looks perfectly straight. So it's not healed, but that screw is shouldering the load so that you can do things sooner. So has it been, how long has it been? 10 days? 11 days. 11 days. Okay. Yeah. So let's just say it's been about two weeks or we can just kind of let you figure out when you're comfortable. It's really what it's going to come down to. As long as I'm comfortable, I can start doing stuff. And, mm -hmm. okay. So 11 days post-op, uh, second appointment done with Dr. Tanner. He said pretty much it's not going to be healed until like six to eight weeks, but uh, he said I'm good to go really whenever I feel comfortable. So yeah, next step is to try to ride. So let's take it there. life open up day one pretty successful still pretty sick but um are you looking to see if i'm in frame yeah you're awful close to your face show them your boogers get my unibrow that you haven't done yet i know i need to do that will you keep falling asleep it's a, yeah <laughs> but yeah uh day one successful hand doesn't really hurt that bad so just gotta put it together and full send at the race, right? Yeah. No excuses. Can't be a little baby.